All right, I, as I've turned around to my rear of the machine, I'm ready to start digging. Remember the controls. You, you have a boom up, swing, stick in and out, bucket curl, two little levers or stabilizers. Over here, your throttle control sets your engine at the speed that you want to operate. If you're doing fine work, maybe not use as many RPMs as you would if you're doing heavier work. A lot of your work will be at a kind of a medium RPM. All right, we're ready to start. So we're going to put a, some RPMs on it over here. Put our outriggers down, our stabilizers. We're setting kind of out of level, so I'm going to put a little more on one side. Release the boom lock, and here we go. Have to boom down as you stick out, roll the bucket out. You have to pull your stick in and boom up at the same time. Then roll the bucket, boom up, swing. Always remember that swing is pretty quick. Lay the dirt far enough to be out of the way. All right, now we're getting down a little deeper here. Make it a, another cut. Always try to keep your work on a pretty level dig. Makes it much neater and much easier to stay at grade. Gonna roll the bucket a little bit, pull the stick in, boom it up, keep it about the same level. All right. Okay. Always remember in operating the backhoe, these levers will move a little or a lot. The more you move the lever, the faster it moves. Sometimes speed is not the main objective. Safety is and accuracy. So a sp speed comes with experience and anytime you're operating a backhoe, you need to take your time until you really feel sure of yourself before you add speed to anything. 